My name's Kat. Welcome to my video blog. Um, there's a, a couple things that I want to do in this, in this video blog that um, are for you guys. But um, <clears throat> I'm pagan. I'm 22. And I've been studying witchcraft for eight years. Um, this video blog is kind of like adjacent to a blog spot um, under Silver Cheshire and also Musef 2005 she's also doing the same thing so definitely check her out but what this whole thing is about um, is we thought that a lot of people a lot of people in society um, have trouble getting information about witchcraft and wicca that's legitimate and so what we're going to do is we are going to do video posts of um, a book and everyone can do it together it's for whether you are a teenager and you have no idea how to get started or if you're an adult and you know you don't have any pagans around you or um, if you're a parent and you kind of want to know what your teens into or whatnot well this is the spot so let's um let's dive into this already because I I'm not one for idle chit chat. So, this is the book to write a silver broomstick by Silver Ravenwolf. You don't have to have it for this. Um, it is highly recommended. I got this book for a dollar and some change on eBay, so it's really not expensive. But if you can't afford it, or you don't have an eBay account, or you're under 18, then um, definitely, you know, you can go along with this. You know, you don't have to have the book. Also on my blog spot, it'll be a little bit more detailed along with Moosef's. Um, anywho, one thing you'll need is a notebook. This is mine. It's a little fancy. It was a good gift from a friend. Um, I already started ahead, but that's okay, because we're going to do this page by page, and each blog will be, um, another lesson or whatever and I'm not saying that I'm some kind of guru or teacher or whatever but this is just to help people um, because when I started with the Mystis it was very hard to get information it was very difficult our parents were not open-minded about this so this is what we're gonna do now to try to help that for the next generation so yeah um, the first thing is this book is a great book why we chose it um, it's great for beginners and <clears throat> it teaches a lot of good lessons of uh, paganism and not necessarily Wicca there's many different types and um, anyways like there's one one page this is a ritual record sheet um, but um, Anywho, it, it, it's, it's a good book. It, it touches on bases of beliefs and whatnot and um, how to get started and exactly what you're getting yourself into, what you, what um, everyone feels about this and, you know, the history and um, just the, the building blocks of a religion is what this book covers about our religion. So, it's really cool. It goes into the different um, holidays and um, you know different SFAPs and definitely it's a pretty good book. Anyways, first chapter is picking up the broomstick. It's a good way to start. And um, my first lesson for you is get your notebook, notebook handy dandy notebook, and. Um, I have three things I want you to answer for me and you can respond with a video response or you can just write me or you can respond on my blog spot um, blogspot.com silver tesh um, is uh, I want to know your definition of a witch what you think a witch is and make it thorough and that that's kind of a really good number one anyway so, definition of which, what you think. And then the second one is your definition of witchcraft. Whether it be with magic and, you know, Harry Potter or whoever, or um, if it's, you know, uh, voodoo or um, 
Pennsylvania Dutch, whatever you think, you know, just write it down, your complete thoughts on rich, witchcraft, on the craft, so, and then, um, I want you to write in the third one, society versus witchcraft, society versus uh, witches, um, how you think society is today towards witches and towards paganism, and how you want it to change, or what you think is right or wrong about that, or, you know, your personal beliefs about Wicca, because like I said, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to follow this to kind of follow along in this notebook. So, definitely. And like I said, when you when you get your um, notebook, it, it can be a spiral notebook. It does not matter, as long as you get those thoughts out. And um, respond to me. So, okay. Um, definitely check out Moose of 2005. Check out my blog spot. Anyways, toodles.